now let us uh, have a look at the code which is uh, for the react front end uh, in this video i'll be showing you about uh, the roles admin and reception as there are many pages it would be taking very long to go through all the pages and after explanation of uh, those two pages that is admin and re reception i will just show the pages i won't be explaining otherwise video will be too long the, this is my front end i have kept all the three uh, database for then front end and the server all three here let us go for the front end src uh, this is the assets page where i have kept all the images the doctor image and all all the images are kept in the assets folder here are the components uh, to create the table and all we require the components for example this is uh, for admin we need to add employee i have used model for adding the employee that is the pop-up which comes when we click on the add new employee this is the implementation of that pop-up see here you can uh, see here uh, i have used actions for uh, fetching the data uh, let me show you one example how i have fetched the data or i have added the employee this is add new employee <coughs> i have taken this uh, show employee set property on all the properties from the initial page that is from the uh, admin main page see here i have written one function to add the data to the server uh, here it is add employee here is the url created i have uh, taking the common url because when i will be deploying on the amazon i need to change that uh, url this url is defined here i'll show you here uh config.js see you can when uh, i will be deploying on the uh, amazon i will be just changing this part i have set the first name last name role roll number date of birth higher date through the table here this is the table this is the ui part or html part you can say this is the model model body in the model body i have written set first name this will be visible uh, on the screen first name enter the first name and here the first name will be set <coughs> last name will be set here uh, email will be set and password will be set uh a role will be set for uh, showing the role i have used the drop down button from the uh, bootstrap which is inbuilt um, i have used a uh, inbuilt one for the react i have not uh, extended it from uh, uh, cdn network and all the values set or uh, i have combined it and form the body which will be sent to the server and there uh, we have written that at the rate body it i'll show you here controller employee to add the employee see here at the rate request body it will be mapped here and it all the fields will be entered in the here first name last name all the fields are mentioned here and the data will be entered here These are all the manipulation flags for the setting and uh, resetting the data model field there. And here, this is the place where I will be sending the data to the server. This is URL and body will be sent. Then this is part where what is to be done after receiving the response from server. Similarly, all the models, all the data fetching are done in the similar way. Let me show you admin page and uh, remove employee. Similar way, all the things are done. Here, uh, buttons are used. Then remove employee button, which was appearing on the UI part. Update employee is also in a similar fashion. Creating the body, sending that body to the server. This is the model body in which I will be asking for the set the EMP ID, first name, 
then last name this is to update the employee details and here is the password which i told i have set that password to text <coughs> actually while updating the employee i am uh, not able to see the password that i have not written when adding the new employee i will be able to see her password i have changed this one to text type if i change this text to password then the stars will be visible on the screen password will be not visible this is about the admin page when we look at the reception page i have in the components and when we go for the pages there we have reception page <coughs> this is the home page where the list of patient will be fetched from the server get a patient from the server all the patients will be uh, fetched and these are the linking to the uh, server and this is the representation i have uh, used component patient for representing the patient here so this is the patient it means to map the array to uh, table i have used this logic now i will show you all the pages this is to add a new employee this is to map the employee or printing the employee details this is the model to remove the <coughs> employee model means the pop up which appears when my, when we click on the button this is to update the employee for doctor also similar pages are there doctor list and all this is the header is the image uh, which was uh, appearing appearing on the top here is the medicine table for uh, creating the medicine table i have used this template here patient add new patient this is uh, regarding the uh, reception part uh, here i will be adding the patient to the server <coughs> you can see the url here Uh, here this is to get the doctors list from the server this is to get the wards list from the server everything is dynamic in nature nothing is embedded this is uh, here also i have used the model to add the patient where uh, name will be displayed then uh, email will be displayed password will be uh, told to enter here also if i change this uh, text to password password will be not visible on the screen this is the page regarding admin this is to edit the patient this is the patient to model uh, this is not model but uh, to create the patient i have uh, written a component patient details for the reception <coughs> here is the logic for the removing the patient if uh, uh, payment is paid or else it uh, won't be appearing on the screen this is for the drop down a corrosal which is appearing on the uh, sign in page three images this is from here this is full screen background image this is password reset model
when we see the pages this is admin details css i have used the css pages as well css pages as well admin details then patient details this is the routing details here i have used the browser router then routes whenever this is clicked where to link it this is all about the front end which i have created in the react in the next video we will look at the uh, dockerizing the uh, containers of uh, back end front end of the database and uh, uh, after that we will be seeing the deployment to the amazon web services thank you